भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा अ मोस्ट लविंग एंड कंपैशनेट स्वामी इज द ओनली अवतार टू हैव सेटअप एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेरिंग हिज होलियस्ट नेम ड्यूरिंग हिज फिजिकल सजर्न ऑन अर्थ इन हिज डिवाइन डिस्कोर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नवंबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एट Swami asks the question What is the special need for an organization bearing my name And he gives the answer You must realize me in all and serve all in a spirit of worshipful dedication Thousands of devotees from all over the world have been active members of the Sri Satya Sai Seva organization filled with overflowing love and gratitude for swami they visit prashanti nilayam to bask in the direct presence and feel his divine proximity swami has selected prashanti nilayam as his center for the sri satya sai avatar in his own words ikkada mari konni sandehalu anta kodunu kontha mandi ki kalta pettu untadi international anetundi dint lopala manam yavat prapancham yokka satya sai samasthalu yokka karyakartalu yokka bhavalanu kontha mandi chakkaga artham chesukotam ledhu world council anetundi vaari yokka sambandha bandhavyani kodunu vaaru chakkaga gurtinchatam ledhu కొన్ని కొన్ని దేశములకు ప్రత్యేకించినటువంటి ఒక్క ప్రతినిధిని మనం నియమించుకోవాలని ప్రయత్నం చేస్తున్నాం ఈ ప్రతినిధిని ఏ రీతిగా నియమించాలి ఎవరు నియమించాలి దీనికి మరికొంతమంది కూడా కొన్ని ఆపోహలు ఉంటున్నాయి అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి భక్తుల లోపల వారి యొక్క ఆశయాలను ఆధారం చేసుకుని భక్తుల యొక్క ఇచ్చ ప్రకారమే అక్కడ సెలెక్షన్ కావాలి అంట ఈ విధమైనటువంటి యొక్క కలతలు ప్రారంభమైతే ఇది క్రమక్రమేణా ఒక పాలిటిక్స్ అంట చూడండి అక్కడ కొన్ని కొన్ని రకమైన ఎలక్షన్ గా తయారవుతుంది ఈ ఎలక్షన్ లోపల ప్రేమలు పూర్తి కూడా చంచిపోతాయి నిజముగా మనము ప్రేమను పెంచుకోవాలంటే ఎలక్షన్ లో మనం దిగ్గూడదు సెలక్షన్ లో ఉండాలి ఆ సెలక్షన్ సెంట్రల్ టెస్ట్ ద్వారా పోవాలి ఎవరికెవరు వారికి వారు పోటాడుకొని వారికి వారి కలహములు పెంచుకొని విభాగముల చేత అనేక రకమైనటువంటి విషయాన్ని తర్కించుకోవటానికి ప్రయత్నించకూడదు ప్రేమ స్వరూపులారా నిజముగా సత్య సాయి సంస్థలు ఎందు ఎట్టి పవిత్రమైన భావాలు ఉంటున్నాయనేటువంటిది లోకం కూడా నువ్వు గుర్తిస్తూనే ఉంటుండాలి సామాన్యమైనటువంటి సంసారులు కనుక కేవలం మానవ మాత్రులుగా ఉండటం చేత ఏదో కొంతమంది తప్పొప్పులు చేస్తూ ఉండవచ్చు అంత మాత్రం చేత సంస్థలకు ఏమాత్రం కూడా నువ్వు దెబ్బ తగలదు నిజంగా సత్య సాయి సంస్థలు చేస్తున్నటువంటి త్యాగము వర్ణనాతీతం Swami has lovingly conducted hundreds of meetings conferences and programs at Prashanti Nilayam at the behest of the Sri Satya Sai Seva organization devotees come to Prashanti Nilayam from all over the world as Sai centers have sprung up in so many countries however swami said that a close coordination with prashanti nilayam is always needed ganuka akkada nunchi kuda nu akkada jarige etuvanti oka paddhatulu gurinchi mana india ku teliputu raavali bharat desham nu ye ye paddhatulu anusaristunnamo vaari vaari desha kala paristhitulu prabhavanni gurinchi vaaru kuda nu aa paddhatulu kochche varaku abhiruddhi parchukovali ganuka akkada nunchi kuda nu ee india ku aa paristhitulu telapali aa office ippudu prashanti nilayam office helping devotees to make swami the center of their lives has been the most important aspect of the organization in fact swami has himself given three qualifications needed to become a member of the organization firstly those wanting to become members should be eager spiritual 
aspirants secondly they must have full faith in the name that the organization bears and in spreading that name in a manner suitable to its message and majesty and finally the member must have won recognition as a good person swami goes on to emphasize that no other qualification like money scholarship influence authority or official position is needed he further declared that for a person with the above mentioned qualifications even if they have no place in any organization bearing his name they will have a place in his heart thus every center every samiti and every bhajan mandali was formed with the sole aspiration to enable devotees to find a place in swami's heart swami has been showering his love and blessings on all of us and that continues to this day on this most auspicious day of guru purnima with the divine blessings and grace of our most beloved swami the sri satya sai global council has been instituted on this joyous occasion we would like to present a few messages sent by devotees from all over the world un grand bonjour depuis Maurice Mauritius Swami fais nous content s'il te plaît bénis Sri Satya Sai Global Council may Swami shower his grace upon all of us and we can do the best for his devotees under the umbrella of Global Council on behalf of South Africa we offer our heartfelt gratitude to our dearest lord for allowing us the opportunity to be part of this newly formed global council structure on behalf of sai devotee from lima i would like to take this opportunity to wish sri satya sai global council success congratulations to sri satya sai global council om sri sai ram offering our humble prayers at bhagwan's lotus feet it gives us the devotees from nepal an immense pleasure to be part of the sri satya sai global council to now adore you and serve you together with the members of the global sai family makes this blessing even sweeter on this very most sacred occasion of guru purnima and the very blessed day the global council is starting a new journey in its divine mission happy and glorious guru purnima my happy congratulations from hong kong to swami for today celebrating the sri satya sai global council to start the new chapter of our sai organization that through this satya sai global council swami has for generations to come linked all the devotees from the universe to the divine abode of prashanti nilayam a great opportunity for all of us to work together we are very very happy to be part of sri satya sai global council wishing everyone a very happy guru purnima with prayers to swami to bless us all to continue his work in a way that makes him proud sai ram the devotees of taiwan are blessed to be part of this historic moment om sai ram i the mati from ghana west africa would like to extend my love and best wishes to the newly formed Sri Satya Sai Global Council as they embarked on this new venture. It is with heartfelt joy that I express on behalf of the Italian devotees who with me join the Sri Satya Sai Global Council, our Sai Mata Jayate Vijayate. Om Sai Ram, dear brothers and sisters in Sai, on occasion of the founding of the Sri Satya Sai Global Council, loving greetings from Germany. Offer my request for blessing and guidance for the Global Council to the Lotus feet of our Lord Sri Satya Sai Baba. I'm so excited to be part of the Global Council. Nous sommes heureux et privilégiés d'être en lien avec la demeure de Père Suprême à travers uh, l'initiative Sai Global Council. Centers from Canada take great joy and pride in uniting with 
centers around the world in offering ourselves in the name of Sri Satya Sai Global Council. It gives many centers to be part of the bouquet of flower in joining Sri Satya Sai Global Council. Bhagwan, I seek your blessings on this journey and the new chapter of Global Council. The underlying purpose of this council is to facilitate every center and devotee in whichever part of the world they may be to connect directly to Prashant Nilayam and to Swami. The Sri Satya Sai Central Trust welcomes the centers from all over the world from different continents and countries to join the Sri Satya Sai Global Council and avail this golden opportunity to be a part of this divine family.